In 2023, South Korea solidified its position as one of the world's leading defense exporters for the second consecutive year, reaching approximately $14 billion in exports. This accomplishment is the culmination of decades of readiness for potential conflict with North Korea and a strategic approach to meet the increasing global demand for military equipment, particularly spurred by the situation in Ukraine. According to data from the South Korean Ministry of National Defense and Defense Companies, released on Monday, South Korea ranked ninth globally in defense exports, just behind Spain, and expanded its export destinations to 12 countries, including new partners like the United Arab Emirates, Finland, and Norway, up from four countries in 2022. Moreover, there was a significant diversification in the types of weapon systems exported, showing a twofold increase. This expansion is in line with South Korea's ambition to become one of the top four global defense exporters by 2027, targeting a share of over 5% in the global defense export market, compared to the current 2.4%. The surge in defense exports can be attributed to several major contracts, notably a $12.4 billion deal with Poland in 2022, driven by increased defense needs following the conflict in Ukraine. This contract alone represented more than 35% of South Korea's annual defense expenditure for that year. The momentum continued into the early part of 2023, with LIGNEX-1 securing a $3.2 billion agreement with Saudi Arabia for the MSAM-2 ballistic missile interceptor system last Tuesday. South Korea's advantage in producing armaments at a larger scale compared to many Western competitors allows it to offer better value for assets such as tanks, howitzers, and lower-end fighter jets. The government also actively supports exporters by committing to place orders to maintain production lines. Hanwha Aerospace, holding the largest order backlog among global defense companies, anticipates billions of dollars in new orders this year. The company's order backlog has soared from $2.4 billion to $15.2 billion over the past two years. Negotiations are underway for exporting K-9 self-propelled artillery to Romania and multiple launch rocket systems to Poland, among other deals. Hanwha shares have seen significant growth since the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Additionally, Korea Aerospace Industries and Hyundai Rotom foresee substantial orders, with Kai engaging in discussions with Egypt and European countries for aircraft exports, while Hyundai Rotom finalizes deals for exporting K-2 tanks to Poland. Nevertheless, challenges persist, especially in negotiations with Poland and Indonesia. Talks regarding the Polish deal between Warsaw, Hanwha, and Kai have been prolonged due to disagreements over financing and technology transfer. Moreover, the Korean government faces difficulties in persuading Indonesia to fulfill its financial commitments for a joint fighter jet development program. Enhancing the export financing support system could facilitate more large-scale exports. Despite these obstacles, South Korea's expansion in the global defense market holds promise for both Korea and the importing countries. For instance, the deal with Poland could mutually benefit both parties, with a significant portion of the contract value remaining within the European country, thereby supporting its defense industrial base.